what? Well, we're sitting here eating. It's really it's good, man. Sweet and sour pork. It's got red pepper, pineapple, onions, and of course the rice. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. So, I've eaten here sweet, not miles didn't make it, but I've eaten sweet and sour pork here, and half the uh, I'll call them nuggets, the mm -hmm. pork nuggets were fat. You know what I mean? I, I, guess I couldn't eat it. No, well, I can't stand. Well, you know how I feel about fat. I can't eat fat. This is solid. Mm -hmm. solid. Of course, the, those belly, pork belly is good for mm -hmm. sweet and sour also. It is? What's too fat? What's that? Fat. I just can't eat fat, man. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yesterday, and I believe today, a vlogger, and I'm not going to mention his name, man, and I feel for him, I really, really do, man. He's married to a Philippine woman, and they got three kids, and, uh, I guess basically his world is crumbling around him, man. The, the wife is playing so many games with him. So many freaking games. Well, he wants to go back. He wants, to, he wants to, to take them back to the States to visit for a while. You know, to get a break. You know, let them see what the United States is all about. But now she's playing. And she got a visa. She can go. Yeah, I know what, how, why. Oh, you're talking, you're talking um, don't, don't mention that. Yeah. But, uh, but I don't, I, I don't think he's the only one that that situation happened. See, everybody's got to remember, they will believe, and I know I'm right because I've witnessed it so many times. A Philippine woman will believe her family and her friends before she believes her own husband when it comes to certain things. Mm -hmm. Even though nine times out of ten it's, it's all bullshit, they will believe it. And even if the, the spouse, the foreigner, husband or wife, and I use that a lot, man, because, you know, it can happen to anybody, will have evidence or whatever they need to prove that they're, you know, they're being honest and truthful, it doesn't matter. Well, my friend told me, or my, whoever in my family told me. See, I feel, okay, people that have no skin in the game, people that have, it has no effect on them, are so quick to give you advice, advice here. Because they ain't losing nothing out of the deal. But your average Philippine does things because they think they're going to get something out of it in the, down the road in the future. They'll do things. You know, like like Miles. I'm so glad she wasn't listening to somebody once upon a time ago telling her to scam me for, before we even, you know, we got serious, telling me to scam me for money. You know, because I had all. I had all my senses, senses in gear, saying, yeah. first time she starts asking for money or something like that, I'm, we're done. You remember that uh, before, um, many times, that when I heard a scammer from you, is 
I will. I I won't talk to you. <laughs> I mean, I. <laughs> see. The person who was trying to get her to do that has a real serious problem giving, trying to control other people's lives. A serious freaking problem with it. She has ruined more people's lives than she had, did help. You know? And I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. And I got the proof. You know? That's why when this person talks, it's in one ear, out the other. I don't even pay attention. I don't want to hear it. I don't care. You know? Ruined a lot of people's lives. The funny thing is, is that these people keep on going back to her over and over and over again. And it's kind of like, you people are a bunch of freaking, you're idiots. That's all I can say. You're stupid. You know? All you are is, 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 a, is a dog on a leash. That's all you want, you know? Because they got that mentality that they're going to, down the road, in the future, they're going to get something out of it. And, and you know that as well. They're going to get something. <clears throat> I mean, this guy, man. A really good guy. Has a very strong faith in his, has a very strong belief in what his faith, okay? He loves his three kids very dearly, very dearly. They're, they are his world, you know? And, you know, he's basically, the past two days, he's been, he's been saying, this is what I've been going through for a little bit here, you know? And he just, he's hurt. And, he, and a lot of the things he's saying, is, it might be just out of pure anger, you know? He's hurt, and I, I get it, I, you know? Yes, grown men do get hurt. When they lie to it, they're deceived. I don't care who the hell you are, you do get hurt. The only problem is, I mean, I know he'll take care of his kids, But I got a feeling the seat, seat's going to think, oh, you're going to take care of me too. Nah, that deal is over. You know? That's my way of thinking. I, I, I might be wrong. You know, he might be. I'm not trying to think for him. I'm not trying to be his mouthpiece, man. But a lot of guys walking. I mean, they, be, they were together for, for, for years. Well, they got three kids, and they're not one, two, or three during school, school you know? So they've been together for a while, but like I said, most likely either a friend or a family member has been whispering in her ear, making her, well, you can do this and you can do that. You know, like I said, they don't, they have no, let me tell you what, man, do, do, <laughs> you will find out real quick, man, that some of these people think they are lawyers, they are doctors, they, they you know, they, they can tell you whatever you need to know and they'll, you know, they'll tell you what's your ailment and, You'll find that out real fast, real, real fast. I don't listen to them and ask my own. I don't listen to them. I'm like, oh, are they a doctor now? Oh, are they a lawyer now? No, okay, whatever, you know? But that's what it is, man. Nine times out of 10, they think they're gonna get something that is, they're gonna get something in the future, down the road. They're gonna get something out of it. Nine times out of ten, they don't. But they keep on doing it, and they keep on doing it, and they keep on doing it. And they, 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 look, they look like fools. At the end of the day, they look like a fool. But, it's just... It's, it's just sad. It's really sad. You know, it's really sad. He will bring the three kids to you. Well, no, 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 no. See, the problem with they can bring in, him bringing his children, if I'm wrong, if, you're, if you know better, like you know all about the immigration, because I only know what I need to know. I don't know. 
is that she need he needs her uh, uh, approval or permission. Right. And what do you think? You think she's going to give it to him? Why should I let my meal ticket go fly away with him? Because her friend's talking to him. Or her family member's talking to him. So she got this already? What I heard? Mm-hmm. And he's a good guy. And the really sad part about it is, man, is why do people on, on this earth when they see a, a, a man or a woman go through times like this and they gotta be freaking assholes about it and put them down and say, ah, you did bad. You know, let it happen to you. Let it happen to you and let's see how brave you really are. <laughs> you know? Let's see how brave you really are, man. Hey, that tears my heart out. This guy, man. He has old fashioned values. He believes in he believes in what he believes in. You know, and this I believe he's been in the Philippines for ten years. He says he had enough. He's had, he's done. He's had enough. I think it's more than that. Yeah, I think he said ten years. I could be wrong, but I believe he said ten the first years. Kid is the, the elders is big already. Yeah, but I don't know how old they are. I don't get that d deep into a blogger's personal life, man. I don't. I, I just, like us, there's certain things that we don't talk about on here. There's certain things we won't. That's our personal life. And we don't have to let anybody in. We, 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 we video our basic everyday life. But there's certain things that you know that we go through our disagreements i'm not going to video us to, and we don't yell and scream at each other you know well philippine women don't do that do they they just they just shut up and that's when you start getting scared <laughs> like what are they what is she up to you know they, they ain't like western females that let you know and let everybody in the neighborhood know why they're mad at you they don't do that man they're quiet and that's when you start getting scared what are they up to? You know? It's just sad. You're always sad, man. I hate anybody goes through something like that. Especially when it involves kids. You don't you don't use the kids as fuck. You don't use children as pawns. You don't do that, man. Because you end up screwing them up. You don't do that. Right? All you do is you mess with them kids' head, man. In the long run, they might end up hating you. Because they, as they get older, just, as they get older, they start seeing things for, for what they are, and they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's my thought for today. It's an outstanding meal. Miles a good cook, man. I could never criticize a cooking. I am full. And why do I always show? Why do I always show videos of, you know, food videos? Because I want I want you foreigners to come over here and, and when your wife is cooking you that rice and just freaking fish or just a piece of chicken every night, you say, wait, come here. I want I want you to see something here. <laughs> Watch this. She's a Philippine. She's never been to the United States, and she can cook this food. Why can't you? A lot of things Miles gets on the internet, so she will, don't you? She looks up recipes on the internet, mm -hmm. you know? 
Like yesterday, we went out and bought rosemary, the seasoning rosemary. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bought that because she likes that. All right, man. Talk to you all later. Elvin, you be good, <laughs> be safe. Oh, by the way, Elvin works in New York City. God, I could never be a bus bus operator in New York City. You got all them wackadoodles. And you got Mr. Gleason. And you got, of course, Mel. Mel. <laughs> Mel's good, good, good people. Hey, Elvin cannot, cannot transfer to other estate rather than New York. I don't know. I can imagine he's a paper. Very risky as a uh, 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 bus driver. Yeah. Maybe he likes it there. Maybe he's getting paid good, fucking good money. You know, might be getting paid good money. I don't know. I don't know his personal life. It's none of my damn business. Man, come over here and taste my <laughs> sweet and sour. She's probably made it before. <laughs> Why not? Different, different taste. Well, she might have her own version of it, you know? If she does make it, I'm not saying she does, but I don't know. Maybe he likes, she likes, she, she likes uh, Philippine food also. She was stationed in Cebu. Yeah, Cebu. And it was, uh, I think she's about to, around the same age as me. I think, I don't know. But she could have been young when she, I mean, like 18. I don't know. All right. I'll let you all go. All right, man. So, the person I was talking about with the white man, I hope things get, I'm not going to say get better because maybe you don't want them to get better. But everything goes the way you want it to go or close to it. And everybody, Keep, them, keep hearing your thoughts. I know people are saying, mention, well, I, should I mention his name since he's... No, no. No? All right. Well, he's been on video talking about it. Mm -hmm. All right, no, I won't, but my prayers go out to you, man. Yeah. All right, and you be good to yourself. You be good to each other. Don't worry about the small stuff. Talk to you later. Bye for now.